Good day, everybody. Thank you for tuning into my Sasquatch videos today. Boy, I got a bit of a bone to pick. I get frustrated and I want to talk a little bit about how sometimes these fly-by-night cryptozoologists or people that think they, they know stuff about my field of expertise, Sasquatch, come jumping in and start chirping and burping and saying all this kind of crap. I find it often very annoying. So I'm going to talk about this drone footage that kind of went viral and people have been talking to me about it, a lot about it and immediately anybody who knows about how Sasquatch move and, and how their, tr their trackways line up and a significant amount of information from boots on the ground years of research and study this this video didn't hold water for two seconds and I, I actually am going to chastise this individual for chirping off because she did no research no background calls this one of the, the you know the best video of Sasquatch ever and what are you talking about so just just talking right out of her glutes preposterously so who am i to say these things well i've been studying and analyzing sasquatch footage and and boots on the ground trackways structures habitations i've been showing people sasquatch and filming sasquatch for almost two decades now so i have a significant amount of knowledge and expertise when it comes to the subject i don't want to call myself a sasquatch expert i don't even know what that really means I mean, I don't know their diet, I don't know what they eat. There's so much more to be learned. Like a, a bear expert has so much knowledge about them and the study of Sasquatch has never really transpired to my knowledge anyways. Or if it has, it's been done under the guise of governments as not being made public. The species absolutely exists. I take people out and I show them Sasquatch. I do expeditions. I've done it with the best in the world, Survivor Man, John Benenagle, Jeff Meldrum, taking these people out. If they didn't get within 10 yards of a Sasquatch, they eyewitness a Sasquatch. And I do this over and over, and I will continue to do this. I even will make a challenge right now because I like to be, I'm the guy that gets stuff done. I'm a doer. I'm the can-do man. I'll tell you, I'll take out CNN, BBC, Joe Rogan. You put your name on it. Let's do a YouTuber. Let's go after Mr. Beast. I will take them out and do like I've been doing since 2017 when I took Survivor Man out and got him within 10 yards of a Sasquatch on multiple occasions. And they played it on Discovery Channel. And I've been saying this the whole time. I'll still say it. I did it last year. I'll do it again this year. And there's actually a new level we're getting to now. There's a big breaking point I'm going to talk about. So today I'm going to talk about this preposterous video that this, 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 this gentleman did. This guy was out having some fun. And this... this TikToker person started chirping about this and how amazing this footage is and she just looks like an idiot now. That's why I don't talk about UFOs or Ogopogo. People are like, why don't you do that? Aren't you a cryptid? No, I'm not a cryptid. This is what I do. That's it. I study Sasquatch like people, like bear experts study bears. Like wolf experts study wolves. Wolf experts have knowledge perhaps of bears, but not that their thing is wolves. That's the study. That's enough. That's significant. This is what I do. And this study is growing and expanding so dramatically every year. There's so much to be learned. It's amazing. It's very, very in-depth. So this is what I do. I really keep my trap shut when it comes to other things. Because I don't know about UFOs. UFOs exist. UFOs are real. I've, I've had things happen with UFOs. But I am not even an enthusiast. I wouldn't even call myself like nothing. There's no level. I don't research. I don't study. This is what I study. And this is enough. Primate, anthropology, anatomy, wilderness expertise, tracking. It's And then now with film, it's so much. So, so much. If you haven't seen my documentary, Discovering Bigfoot, check it out. It's pretty significant. Real Sasquatch footage in it as opposed to this. And I wanted to talk about too. So I have so many people now, literally hundreds of other Sasquatch, people that have Sasquatch expertise or just really intelligent men and women who have a great deal of knowledge about wilderness and anthropology and primates and chimpanzees and just so much stuff, nature itself. So I'm learning so much, I have all these people, so I'm gonna ask y'all for help because there's this photo that just simply, there's lots of good and stuff that I find possibly not good about this photo, but I'm impressed and I wanna know about it. I wanna know the backstory. Today, when we talk about this preposterous piece of drone footage, what bothers me is this woman did no research. This guy's a carpentry channel, he, 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 he has, fake Bigfoot stuff all the time. He just has fun with it. And she took it seriously. And if she doesn't have egg on her face, she should sure feel like it because she didn't spend five minutes to check out the guy's channel and show that he's, this is not Bigfoot. It's not. And it was never even close. And uh, he got his viewership because there was a dumbass like her that bit. He put out a little dumbass hook and she just snapped it right up. And she looks like a dumbass to me. She looks like a twit. You don't know what you're talking about. Stick with your TikToking other stuff that you do because you just wait till I go through it. 
The other thing I want to show you is I'm going to do this next week. I'm going to talk about this. This guy alleges to have filmed a baby Bigfoot. And I'm a little bit impressed with it. Not sorry. So the thing is, when something dies, like when a gorilla dies, it looks very not real. It looks kind of fake. I've seen I've seen dead deceased gorillas and deceased orangutans. They look like they're kind of plasticky. And just when you die, when you become lifeless, you look like you know maybe something that was special effects made. But I'm seeing things in this baby Bigfoot that died that look impressive. So I'd like lots of feedback. Lots of feedback in the comments. Let's talk on my live show because I'm going to do a review of this stuff next week because I'm impressed. some major red flags major major red flags so of course it bothers me that she comes in and starts talking about this clearly fraudulent piece of sasquatch footage and says it's so amazing it's incredible footage boy i'm just uh, so impressed with it maybe the best clearest footage ever nope do some research honey have a look at todd Stanley. have a look at the patterson footage i'll actually talk about after this about some pretty impressive pieces of footage that have kind of been slipped you know, under the pop culture thing. And I, I think they have really good potential to be authentic. Probably two of my favorite videos, Eagle Cam and this Florida footage, that I just, I really think they're impressive. And I think it's a very high likelihood that they're, they're, they're real. So, but some red flags, like such big red flags. Let's play this for a little bit. This might be the most clear Sasquatch footage. What, what the world? The following video was up on his YouTube channel. Ken went for a ride with his camera because he wanted to see if he could find bears, since he had seen a mother bear with cubs before in the same area. However, when he sees something that he cannot identify in the bushes, he decides to fly with his drone to see if he can record what he saw. Check it out. Are you serious? What? What is that? What seems to be a tall bipedal creature with red fur can be seen walking between the trees before it disappears. If you listen closely, you can even hear its footsteps in the snow. Now I'm going to stop it here because, wow, so you're hearing footsteps. Hey, sweetie, you can't have audio recording when this guy's talking. You, there's no audio recording. Was he talking into a mic on the drone's mic? Drones have to sound like this. Like they sound like a big bee. So you're hearing footsteps from the Sasquatch. Red flag! You can't hear footsteps. Drones don't record that. What the hell? So, boy, you look like a twit. And I'll tell you something. When I was shown this for, begin for the first time, Sasquatch don't walk like that. I've been studying Sasquatch, again, for almost two decades. And I've been standing on the shoulders of men and women that have been studying it for 40 years, 40 years, 40 years, 20 years. None of us have ever seen a Sasquatch walk like this because they don't walk like that. So this guy didn't even try to do his due diligence and homework, and neither did she. Now she talks about how, oh, he was out looking for a bear. No, he wasn't, sweetie. If you check out his, uh, his YouTube channel, he's got fake Bigfoot like crazy. He was driving down the road one day. He's doing voiceovers, and he's, he's actually got some... Some decent uh, video skills. He's doing green screen, voiceovers, adding sound. So, which is all big red flags. He clearly did that with the drone footage. You shouldn't be able to hear him talking. You certainly can't hear the, the Sasquatch walking. But he was out there just uh, filming a bear. And that's what he did. It was just a big accident. Nope. Check out his YouTube channel. There's stuff like this on it. So, that pretty much ends it. I mean, I'm not going to get into, like, I did a little bit of research on this this gentleman. He's just out having fun. He's doing some fun Sasquatch stuff. He, he probably, you know, 
was hoping that some twit would come along and bite and here we got one bit like hard right oh he's out looking for a bear no oh, it's just innocently happened no babe do some ho like you actually insult the viewer's intelligence by not at least going to you you're talking about his youtube channel maybe you should have went and looked at his youtube channel it's got multiple videos that are just obviously he's just joking around so to think this is authentic to think this 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 was so popular that i got word of it and it you know nearly became it's pretty much viral is just ridiculous you don't know what you're talking about that's why I don't talk about UFOs, because someone would come along that knows about this stuff and would shut me up, right? I know about Sasquatch. This is not even close to a Sasquatch, so it's embarrassing that this was put out there as a Sasquatch. So many red flags about this, I don't even know where to go. So I wish people would just kind of, I know there'll be no lesson learned here. She went viral with it. She'll probably keep doing it and just keep looking like a dumbass. There's so much good stuff out there. Like I want to talk about this eagle eye footage. Eagle cam footage, it's called. Very impressive stuff. I did a video on it. Let me play this little sequence for you. Here's some eagle cam footage. And then, now there's this impressive Florida footage. So the backstory is a little weird. Again, I did a video on it. It's on my YouTube channel. But let me play this for you real quick. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show this photograph. I just got it off the internet. Don't know where it's floating around. I'd like to hear some backstory. Like the late, great John Benernagel said, PhD wilderness biologist would say to me, it's the backstory that's so important. The eagle cam backstory is pretty obvious. They were just filming that, those, that eagle nest, and boom, it showed up. The Florida footage, the footage is very impressive to me. The backstory seems a little iffy, and mm, it's, it's, just, it's mediocre. But I can let it slide because this is such amazing footage and, and maybe the Sasquatch behavior does kind of fit so it's not so far off. So I, I, can, I can let that go and say even <clears throat> the Eagle Cam and the Florida footage, I'm pretty much on the 90 percentile thinking that this is, this is high end, very likely to be real. Too many things are going on that I just see absolute authenticity with. But I'd like to learn more about this photograph. And then the other thing I want to hear about is what's the backstory with this? I'm very interested. I'm going to go once, once this video goes out there, I really need some comments. I need people telling me what's going on, especially uh, on my live show. I'd like to talk about this, uh, this, I'm just going to call it this brassy looking facial of a Sasquatch and then this baby deceased baby Bigfoot. So I'd like to talk about that on my live show this Wednesday. <clears throat> I'd like to, Hear your comments and the questions below, and uh, there'll be more stuff coming. There's going to be an excellent Sasquatch Sunday video, so thank you very much for tuning in today. Appreciate you all, and uh, more to come. Stay tuned. The discovery of Bigfoot's happening, and I'm very excited about it.